this is Shamini from Shamini Films and this afternoon I was at a photo shoot with Ashley Newman from Union Pilates and Kaiza from Kaiza Fit and we were talking about the fashion and fitness industries and how there seems to be this little problem of branding versus substance right so you have some companies some people who don't have a lot of substance to what they're offering it's kind of like they have just created a beautiful brand with like perfect social media, beautiful pictures, all this stuff that makes you really excited to follow them, um, things you're aspiring to. But when you actually get in there, you're like, they're not really offering anything of substance. They're not offering anything that's really new to me or even really that deep. It's all kind of superficial and it's like a facade. On the other end of the spectrum, we have this deep, rich substance lacking branding. So you have these amazing people that have invested so much time in self-development and developing their company and developing whatever their services, whether it's teaching Pilates or training people in the gym or creating ethical clothing or ethical makeup or like whatever it is that they're doing, their whole heart is in this project. And where they're struggling is getting that message, getting that product out into the world in a way that people, um, again, aspire to and desire. Because that feeling, um, we've got a cat who wants to come in the room. Do you ever have this problem? The cat's just like, let me in. All right, come on. So, okay, so the problem is that when it comes to marketing, especially social media, especially something like Instagram, it's about aspirations. It's, you have to make somebody feel that feeling of, I want that. Like when someone likes, most of the time it's not because they like it, like, oh, that's nice. It's usually because they're like, oh, I want that. I like that. I wish my kitchen looked like that. I want that outfit. Oh, I wish I was in Jamaica right now. Right? Like it's all about their imagination. So if you're t talking about marketing and your brand and you want someone to come and, and train with you, buy something that you're creating, you got to tap into that feeling. That's like the predominant feeling on social media at the moment in the marketing world. Um, so what we need to do is bridge, right? We want to help companies that have great substance have great branding so that their amazing product can get out there. Um, I mean, likewise, we'd like to help the companies with great branding have deeper substance, but that's almost trickier because that's like the elbow grease goes into creating the substance and then it's just pretty packaging is what the marketing is. So where I function, I'm kind of that bridge. I use um, video and photos and we create beautiful visual content for your website, your social media, wherever you need to use it um, so that your substance and wholehearted love of whatever it is you're doing, service, product, skill, um, can get out there in the world in a way that people are excited about. So, I mean, a, f a few things are just so basic. You don't even need me for these. Like when you're taking pictures for yourself, turn off the indoor lights so that the lighting is not orange and gross on your skin. Um, take your pictures in the daytime instead of the nighttime. So again, you have natural light. When you're taking your own pictures, be careful of blur. If you're taking your own videos, stabilize so you don't have shakiness. Like just those tiniest little things will make a huge difference between whether someone wants to look at your pictures and videos or not. Um, taking it to another level, there's a little bit more planning involved. Like when you're wearing your outfits, like let's say you're a Pilates teacher. If you just wear whatever crazy funky outfit mismatched you want, meh. If you take a second to think about what coordinates, you get a lot more likes. Sounds stupid. Part of you is probably thinking, oh, well, extra work. Is it worth it? Like, isn't that kind of superficial? Like, won't someone like follow me because they actually care about Pilates, not because they care about my outfit I'm wearing? Well, I'm sorry. Reality check. No. <laughs> like, the world that we live in and that we're marketing our businesses in cares about that stuff. And on the one hand, there's some people that care about it more. Like, the fashion and the outfit is actually more important than the Pilates. For other people, the Pilates is more important, but if the fashion isn't coordinating, it kind of throws them off. It makes it look less professional when it's placed side by side with somebody that is coordinating. It's kind of, it's like putting yourself up against the competition. If you're standing in a line um, of you and your competition, you need to stand out and you want to stand out in a good way, not a bad way. And you also don't want to not stand out. Like standing out in a bad way, being neutral, both of them, not ideal. You gotta make yourself shine in a positive way. 
and that's what the branding is. So I'm sorry if you don't like it. I really, really resisted it for a couple years. I didn't, I didn't want to touch social media. It's just too stressful. Um, trying to keep up with it is stressful, creating content, and then feeling like the content you're creating isn't good enough and isn't, it's, it's such a nightmare. So if you're feeling that pain, give me a call because what I do is come in, get to know you and your brand and be like, okay, I see it. This is what is amazing, amazing about what you're doing. And this is how we want it to look. And you don't know how to do that, but I do. So I can come in once and take pictures and videos for you that will then populate on the internet and make you look how you want to look. Um, or I can come in every month and you can have a monthly subscription with me where um, we just keep everything updated and that's really good for social media. If you're struggling with Instagram, we just get all of those taken in one, one shoot and then you're set for the month. Um, okay, so those are a couple of things that I can do to actually help you. But really, I just wanted to make this video today as a little shout out to all of those artists and entrepreneurs out there who are banging their head against a table or a wall or your keyboard just being like, I hate the social media and like my company and what I'm doing is so meaningful. Why don't people like it more? Why don't more people follow me? Why am I fighting tooth and nail to get like five new followers on social media when what I'm doing is so amazing? And then that little nasty little voice on our shoulder is like, that person over there has like 7.3 million followers and they're not even doing anything meaningful. Kick that nasty bird off your shoulder because we don't need to be mean to other people. Instead, like focus back on ourselves and be like, okay, what is our goal here? Our goal is to take our gift and get it out into the world. My boyfriend just drove home. Hey. Um, so our goal is to get, <laughs> to get what we have offered. Our gift is to get it out there in the world. And packaging and the first impression and all of that is an important part of it. And you don't have to be in, uh, inauthentic, unauthentic. I'm not saying like make it look perfect when it's not. I'm just saying, show off all your imperfections, but do it in a way that celebrates them and it makes them beautiful and it's like makeup. You don't want to look fake. You want to use makeup to highlight what's naturally there. Hire me or let me help you learn how to highlight your business, your art, your service, so that everything that's wonderful about it shines forth and it can get out there. And then you have beautiful branding and beautiful sub substance bridging together and then you become a superstar. That's the goal. Cool. Call me if you got questions. I'm Shamani, shamanifilms.com.